Well, we've had a few people suggest to us that we go try Fat Tony's, isn't it? It's um, up at the top of Molasti somewhere, I think. And uh, so we're going to head over there. They, they reckon their burgers are the best in the world. In the world. Or something like that. <laughs> they reckon their that. burgers are good. <laughs> so we're going to go check it out. Good and cheap. And we're just going to grab a go jack. Yep. Get over there. We're over at um, the Molasti at the moment. Yep. So I think it's about a 20 minute walk. Yep. Doable, but it's bloody hot. So yeah. go jack. How much was go jack? Did you look? I haven't even looked at it yet. Okay, we'll let you know. Okay, I've just ordered a go jack. It said that there was a price surge in effect due to high demand. So it's going to cost us a total of $2.50 to go. How many k's? I think it's about two and a half k's. That tone is opens at 2 p.m. Yep. So instead of going there, we've decided to continue on to Kuda and go to Discovery Shopping Mall instead. So we haven't been there for a few years. So I heard um, the old Mataharis is on the top floor. So we'll check out and see if that's the case. So we're at Discovery now. Um, these are the famous stairs that Deb keeps falling down over when they're wet. Oh, I slid down these and nearly killed myself <laughs> one rainy yep. Christmas. So we're going to check it out, we'll have a look around and Mother hurries upstairs. We'll go have a look what it's like up there now. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Converse optic. That's where you used to get your eyes checked and glasses from. One of these shops here. I think the eye checks were free. This used to be the area where all the cheapest souvenirs were packed in. You were struggling to walk through the alleyways. Now they've uh, seemed to have opened it all up and uh, gone with a minimal theory. There's a lot of shops in here now which look like they've closed down. I reckon they've suffered with COVID and they're struggling to get the brand names back in here. Okay, so Matahari's is up the escalators. I want to know where the man chair is. Every <laughs> shop should have a man chair. I'm sure they would. Pretty funny coming from the shopper in the house. Oh, no, <laughs> everyone knows that shopping centres are made for women. There's no shops in there for men. What did you just say? You'll go to the men's section and check it out. Is that what you said? Yeah, but... <laughs> Mr. Big, they probably don't have Mr. Big. I'm 3XL, most shops, I know every shop in Australia doesn't do 3XL, the biggest they ever go is 2XL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you found something you like, Al? Um, not quite. The thongs, here's the price. $50 for a pair of thongs. I went to Circle <laughs> K and I bought a pair for $2. <laughs> here they are here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're working okay? They'll do the same job. <laughs> are they your, um, what, what sort of thongs are they? They're your shopping thongs? These are my shopping thongs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. also your dinner thongs? Yeah, my working thongs. Your bushwalking thongs? My bushwalking thongs, <laughs> yeah. Just outside of Matahari. Not everything's open in here yet. There's still a lot of things closed upstairs. I remember coming here quite a few times. Had to be packed with people. There's hardly anyone in here. Half the shops are closed, shut down. The restaurants, as you can see along the other side, they're all closed at the moment. Now I'm sure eventually they'll get back in the swing of things. Things will get back to normal, but they're not quite there yet. It's 
closed. Oh, it is open, just no one's up here. Okay, so this is the bottom level in Discovery. This is your tax-free shopping. Heaps of different designer brands, lots of makeup, pretty much everything you can get at home, but no doubt a lot cheaper. Excuse me, have you seen Deb? <laughs> Another thong shop. Not as big as the other one though. Money changer. And then you go out these back doors here and you're on the beach. This is right down the end of Tudor Street where it meets the beach to the left, to the south. Never been down this bit before. Looks like they just finished doing up all the new little shops for everyone. And then Nusa Dua always the choice the people have babies stay there. Babies? Yeah, many people have kids or big family or baby. In Nusa Dua? In Nusa Dua. Oh. I thought it would just be older people. Yeah. I think different place, different means. Yeah. yeah. Like Nusa Dua, good for baby. Quiet. Quiet and then clean beach, not big wise. And then, uh, yeah, it is the going everywhere, not so hard. So best for young people is where? For the young people like party, uh, Janggu, Seminya. Yeah. <laughs> But for the baby, good in Sanur. For all people, like uh, more good in Sanur because many bar. Yeah. And then cheap place there. Yeah. And Legian? Legian is too much noise. Too much <laughs> noise. <laughs> That's true. I, I not look good or busy, or good or Legian busy like before COVID now. I just look. Uh, Many people come to Kuta and then again just for the shopping shopping around street. Yes. Good shopping in Legian. But for the stay not so busy I look. No. Because when I'm here on the streets they are looking customer for taxi. Yeah. Always Seminya, Nusa Dua, Sanu. Seminya Nusa Dua Ah, okay. So everyone's just staying elsewhere and coming over for shopping. Just across the road from Malasti is the Royal Padma Laundry. We used this laundry yesterday. Two hours, all your laundry's done. Just, I think it cost us around eight dollars for five kilo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, it's the, the next evening. What oh, car coming through? Well, yeah, it's the next evening. We're at uh, Tony's finally. Finally made it. We finally <laughs> made it, so we're going to go in and we're going to check it out. Yeah, recommended by a few of our viewers, so looking forward to it. Yeah. So we finally got to Fat Tony's, and the word that I would describe Fat Tony's is loud. You've got indoor and outdoor eating area, but it's pretty small and it's quite loud in there. But the burgers were exceptional. I have to admit, I would go back to Fat Tony's. I was actually expecting these big, fat, greasy burgers, but they weren't. They were just the right size. You could enlarge your size with the choice of one, two, or three patties. And the best thing about it was the price was excellent. 
And as you can see, they're also popular with home delivery on Gojek. After dinner, we decided to go and get some tattoos. Alan was first. He ended up adding more skulls to the skull he already had on the front of his hand and a couple of other smaller tattoos. Then it was my turn. I think being in Bali for seven weeks did something to me, like made me feel a lot freer than normal because I'd been wanting a tattoo for about 30 years. I also decided to get a nose piercing. So now I have three tattoos and one nose piercing. I really like them. <laughs> Just about done. Be brave. I know. <laughs> I never thought I'd get anyone's name tattooed on me, but since Alan's been around for about 30 years, I figured why not. If you found this video entertaining, helpful or inspiring, would love for you to consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell. Subscribing will ensure that you never miss out on any of our future content that we create, especially for you.